Iron Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today we're going to do something special. I'm going to answer that question I keep getting on the Facebook uh, group. What is better, pre-smoking or post-smoking? I'm going to actually take two pork butts, and I'm going to pre-smoke one before I serve sous vide it, and then I'm also going to take one, and I'm going to sous vide it first and post-smoke it. So we're going to try it out. This one here, I'm going to do probably two and a half to three hours smoke on the Big Joe at about 250 with some pecan wood to see if it's going to be better than if the post smoke one. This one I'm going to sous vide it for probably about 38, 36 hours or so and then I'm going to put it on the Big Joe for some smoke after the fact. So we're going to answer that age-old question that I keep getting on the Facebook group. What's better, pre-smoking or post-smoking? So we're gonna try that out, so follow along with us while we do that. And I'm gonna get these uh, rubbed down and we're gonna get cooking. So I'll be right okay, back. Okay guys, we're back. And like I said, I got these two pork butts. They're about the same size. I went ahead and I trimmed some of the fat cap off um, because when you sous vide, you're not really gonna render as much fat as you would if you had them in the smoker the whole time. So I did trim a good portion of the big fat cap off these pork butts got a lot of fat marbled in them, so they're going to have plenty of fat in there. Um, it's going to be still nice and juicy. Not going to hurt anything to uh, trim a lot of the uh, fat cap off. So I mean, I'm going to be rubbing these down with the pork candy and running like wild this pork button ribs. So we're going to go ahead and get these all okay. All got down. All rubbed down. I got the one that I'm going to uh, sous vide first. I got it all in the vacuum bag, the expandable vacuum bag I was showing you. Got the pork candy all rubbed down in there. And the one that I'm going to smoke first, I just put it in the regular uh, two gallon Ziploc bag and I'm going to let the smoker. So when it gets closer time, we're going to kind of coordinate the two, try to get them done close to the same right, time as possible. I'm going to get these going. I'm going to get this one in the sous We're going to cook this pork butt here. Then we're going to sous vide first at 155 for 48 hours. So we're going to throw that in. But I do have my smoker coming up to temp. So I just started the fire on that. Just close it down, put some pecan wood. So as soon as this gets up to around 250, I'm going to go ahead and throw my other pork butt in. And we're going to cook that for about two and a half to three hours so it gets a nice bark on it before we throw that in the same sous vide cooler. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this one in. And then as soon as I throw the other one on the cooler, or on the smoker I'll be back to show you that so I'll be right back right, guys the sous vide is telling me that the water's reached 155 and as soon as I hit set it's gonna go ahead and the uh, timer will start ticking down 48 hours so I got my sous vide pre sous vide you know the non pre smoked in there All right, right guys now. got my uh, pre-smoke one put on, smoke's rolling. I'm gonna go ahead and close it up. And you see the temps dropped a little bit, but that will get right back up to 250. We'll lock it in. And that's gonna roll for about a little over two hours. I'm gonna get a, see if we can get a good bark on it. I'm not gonna go okay, too much Okay guys, than that. I'm back. It's been about two and a half hours since I threw this uh, pork butt on the grill. It's been sitting right at about 275 got plenty of smoke to it got some nice color to it I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and I'm gonna put it on my pan and we're gonna go ahead and throw throw it in the uh, vacuum seal bag and we're going to put it in the sous vide with the show other you guys this but, just uh, show you these bags again these expandable bags from that we'll use with the vacuum sealer so how big they get. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide this right on in there and you can just kind of see, I gotta fold it over. We're gonna slide this sucker right in. Just a little warm, so slide it right in the bag. Okay guys, I have the one that was uh, not pre-smoked still in there. And now I'm putting the pre-smoked one in right next to it and what I'm gonna do is because I know the pork butt will float Whoops, sorry about 
camera. I know that float pork butt will float, so I am going to put a couple of these racks on top. And it will keep it under the water. I know when I put the top back on, it's going to hold that underneath the water there. So they may float a little bit, but that rack's going to kind of hold it still underneath the water. So I don't have to worry about them not cooking fully. So we're going to let them right, go. Guys, it's been like right at a little over 46 hours. <clears throat> and it's just cooking away. But I'm going to go ahead and get the fire going. And then we're going to throw the one that was not pre-smoked Welcome back. on. I just wanted to show you, I just took the uh, pork butt that was not pre-smoked out of the sous vide mat. Just kind of wanted to show you what it looks like. And it got this color just from being in the sous vide and with the rub I had in there. But as you can see, there's a lot of juice in there. I'm gonna go ahead and dump that out. We're not gonna use that today. But I'm going to go ahead and dump that out, take this out of the bag, put it on here. We're going to dry it off a little bit, and then we're going to put some more of the pork candy on there. And then we're going to throw it on the smoker for a couple hours. The smoker's just about up to temp. It's right at about 250. So once I get this all set up and ready to go back on, it'll be right at the perfect temp. We'll throw that on for two and a half hours, and then we'll see how it turns out. Hey, guys, I don't know if you can see this, but... Um, it pretty much fell out of, fell apart when I was taking it out of the bag. So it's been cooking over 46 hours at 155. So I guess that's a, <laughs> that's a, a good uh, good amount of cooking. So it's pretty much cooked all the way through. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some more of my rub on. And I'm probably going to have to leave it on this pan while it's in the smoker because it's falling apart. So. I will leave it on the pan. I'm going to put some more of this rub on and then we're going to throw it on there so I can get some smoke to it. Yeah, okay, Kale. It's been on there a little over two hours. It's got some color to it. Got some smoke. I'm going to go ahead and pull the other one out that was um, pre-smoked and then I'm going, to, I'm going to hit that one with the sears all. But I'm going to pull that out of the sous vide and put it on a pan and we'll be right back. This one's going to stay in here for another 10 minutes or so, and then we'll be back and pull it out and do our taste test. All right, guys. I just got the uh, pre-smoked one out of the sous vide bath, and it's still kind of wet and juicy and fatty. You can tell, though, it's got that smoke on there. I'm going to go ahead and, so everything's fair, since I did put some more rub on the one that is uh, being post-smoked, I'm going to put a little bit more rub on this one. What I'm also going to do, since it's been sitting in the bath for, uh, you know, 46 hours, since the bark was uh, on it, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the uh, Searsol for a second. Not too long, just enough to kind of get a little crisp to it, because that's what we're getting on the one in the, uh, in the smoker right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit this real quick. Just enough to kind of crisp it up in some spots because we are going to get that on the uh, one that's in the smoker. We're not really cooking it anymore, just kind of getting some smoky, crispy chunks to it. The rub we just put on is going to get a little crunch to it as well. All right, guys, you can look at them side by side. Okay. Can you tell which one is which? Which one was pre-smoked, which one was post-smoked? Probably can because of the pans I used, but yeah, the one on your left is the pre-smoked, and the one on your right is the post-smoked. Okay, post-smoked, pre-smoked. All right, they look, both look pretty good. You know, you can tell that the one uh, on the right there Kind of fell apart a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and get these all mushed up. And we're gonna have my son Spencer who's gonna do a taste test, A or B, and see which one he actually likes better. So I'm gonna go ahead and he doesn't know, he hasn't watched me do this 
at all all day so he's not going to know which one's which so I'm just going to go ahead and plate that up and we're going to do it. As I got my 16 year old son Spencer here loves to eat yeah. he doesn't know which one's which and he's going to do the blind taste test to see which one he prefers. There's no sauce or anything I just took them right off the pan put them on the plate Okay, Spencer, go ahead and try A first. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. How's it taste? Pretty good. Is it juicy? Tender. Yeah, tender. Is it falling apart? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it too tender? No. I'd say just tender enough. Okay. All right, well, kind of swish your mouth out a little bit and then see if you can try a B. All right. Okay, B. Mm. Hmm. Does it taste different than the other one? Yeah, I'd say this one's a bit more tender. What about yeah. anything else? Any other flavor difference? I can kind of taste more fat, more flavor. And it taste more smoky? Yeah, it could be. Why don't you try A again? I prefer B. You prefer B? Mm -hmm. Try B again. This one's a little bit more smoky, I think. This one's more tender, but this one's more smoky. Okay, well, A was the one that was smoked afterwards. Mm. Okay, so I didn't smoke it first. I put mm. it in the sous vide, and then we smoked it afterwards. Mm -hmm. And then the first one was smoked on, on, the, on the smoker first, and then sous vide. So you're saying the A is more smoky? Yeah, I would say A is more smoky. So the one that was smoked afterward was more smoky than the one that was smoked beforehand. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you like B better because it tastes a little bit more tender? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a little bit more tender. It could just be the cut, but it could this be. one is more tender. Because they me. both cooked about the same in, in the smoker and in the sous vide. So. Mm -hmm. All right, well, there you have it, guys. That's the, you know, from the judgment from Spencer, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will be back for another one. Um, go ahead and make some comments down below. Make sure you subscribe, follow us. If you want us to do any other taste uh, test videos like this, I'm sure we'll be doing them. So thanks again. And then Spencer's gonna eat some more of that pork. Mm -hmm. So, all right, thanks again, guys. Hey y'all, uh, I just wanted to give you my opinion on that cook. I actually like both of them. They both were pretty good. The post smoke one was probably a little bit more mushy by, by what uh, even what Spencer was saying. It was a little more smoky. Um, usually, what I would do is is do a little bit of both. Uh, last one I did before this cook, I did a pre smoke and I, I put it back on the smoker for about an hour after the sous vide. So, and I think that one would produce an actual you know a better result. Um, and I, maybe I'll do a cook like that soon down the road here. But I just wanted to kind of do this one now to show you. But they both turned out great. Experiment if you want to. Um, both of them were good. I mean, you just can't complain about smoky pulled pork. So uh, I'd probably go a little bit less time next time. I think 46 hours. Made them both a little too tender. So I think, you know, 36 is probably perfect uh, at that temperature. So I'd either go a little bit less temperature or a little bit less time. So, but thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure you follow us on Facebook. We have a group and a page. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. And we will be seeing you again soon.